Hey everyone, Mega Dad here with Connor. And today we've got the Osmo Coding Jam. So stick around. And we'll be right back to the show. Da -da. Osmo Coding Jam. And we're back. All right, so today we've got the Osmo Coding Jam and we're pretty excited to get into this one. It seems like a, a great uh, educational learning toy uh, in order to start uh, learning how to code uh, and in, in a fun way with uh, making music and things like that. So uh, we're, we're very excited to get into it and see, see what it's like. So this is ages to 5 to 12 and this does not include the Osmo base so you have to get the other, the other sets that have the Osmo base force. Right. Okay, let's do it, Connor. Yay, hey, chapter begin. Let's go. Ah, you're taking it. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Let's play. Let's go to practice. Okay, so I need to do that. I know I'm doing that, so and I'm gonna move this right here. I'm actually gonna dump. I have a feeling I should dump this out. I'll help you with this. That's the repeat. Okay. Oh, now we're doing up. Oh yeah, they are magnets, Connor, huh? Mm-hmm. That's where it's stuck. Oh, there's the Z. I'll get that in a second. I can't really, uh... Oh, there we go. I can't just do it. Okay, I need the one block. Let's do this. And I can do... Oh, I see what you're doing. Flip. It's important the area, the area where the... And yep, I know how to do that. Is displayed. I did I'm doing down. I'm gonna have 30. Good I'm, job, what, awesome 40? leopard. <laughs> 40! Dad, after you, um, could... After you do all the practices, guess what? What? You get to do your own. Oh yeah? yeah. You gotta do the practice though first. Mm-hmm. What? Who's this guy? And one and a two and a three. Sing it. They said to use the bounce block. I know. Let's use those sounds. Hey Dad, I think I have a feeling I can make my own. Yeah. Let's make, let's do it like this. So you can see how that does. What? You moved him out of the out of the, out of the space, so I couldn't see anymore. Glue the pieces. Glue the pieces. Oh! Clear that. What? I think it wants you to do something specific. It wants you to do the the hand and the. Oh, Dad! Look at. Two runs. Oh, that's cool. You can you can you can touch it and see what they do. Not cool, Dad. Yeah. I need to do it like. Boop. Dad, 
step back into Z's place. I need a wand. Dun 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 dun. Okay. Good. Clear all the pieces. one. No, you just have to do the same pieces. Same. Sure, go ahead. Okay, come on, let's do level nine. We'll peek. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, I think I have this guy. Yeah, I have this guy. Who is that guy? He's a He's a, like, robot guy. A robot guy? Boop, boop. 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 I think, you need, I think you need the hoppy, the hop one. Yeah, I know. What is this? Is that run? I'm getting or is it there. jump? It's jump, I think is what it is, right? Mm-hmm. You can change it whatever direction you want. Because it doesn't have the direction on the screen. Mm-hmm. So it's it's counter select whatever whatever. Ooh, that looks you want. that's cool. I need a repeat though. Repeat. And then the funny piece. Pieces on the front pod. What? So that was easy. Yeah. Nice. Well, let's go see if we got studio. 
Okay. Yeah, we've got studio. Yay, studio. Studio, let's go see. Go inside. Where? First one going to be. Hmm. I got a few characters here. Let's do this guy. Oh, he's hmm. cool. Yeah, he's kind of cool. I died. Ooh, look at his laboratory. Yeah, he's got the cool music lab. I wonder what that tube does. We can actually change some stuff. Boop, boop. I actually liked it before. Yeah, I think it will help. Um, I'll do it the normal way. Maybe add something in there. Oh, you get, yeah, there you go. A new guy. You got somebody that does uh, some drums or something? I'm doing a laboratory, guys. So this is a laboratory. That's laboratory and that's laboratory. Oh, neat. That sounds like a good idea. Okay, so. Are you going to have him do the same thing? Yeah. And let's do the final guy, this guy. Oh, yeah. He's a rock star. Cool. I know he's a rock star. Look, it's a potato. It's a potato right there. A potato? Pizza button. Get a chair online. Boo! I unlocked the new person! You unlocked a new person. Look at that yo, guy. Yo. yo yo. Yo yo. Yo yo. So, Connor, what'd you think of the Osmo Coding Jam? Um, it was pretty cool. Yeah, you liked it? Yeah. Thought it was fun. What was your favorite part? The studio. The studio, like doing the studio, and not the practice stuff. Yeah, but like I like the, some practice stuff. Some practice stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you like the um, the free music making. Uh, yeah. You know, we get to do whatever you want rather than have to follow instructions. Yeah. yeah you like that a lot better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. I can understand that. I can understand that. So I think from from the parent view. Um, I think that uh, uh, it was also pretty cool. I also de definitely liked it. Um, as a coding tool, I thought that uh, it was definitely more geared to the younger end of the spectrum. Uh, I think because it was, it said it was like, uh, I think what, yeah. five, to, five to 12? Yeah, ages five to 12. Um, I think for a coding perspective for uh, a you know, 10, 11, 12 year old, uh, you know, that was, it's maybe a little bit too young for that. Uh, it definitely, I think at that age, towards the upper end of that, that, definitely, that age range. Definitely, you can't play if you're one. No, you definitely can't play if you're one. Um, but uh, mm -hmm. for the older kids in that age range, uh, definitely probably time to start moving away from these visual, uh, visual block-based uh, programming languages and more towards a regular programming language. Um, I think definitely for the younger kids, uh, it's definitely great. I think it, it, it serves more as an introduction to the visual programming languages. So like if you're already into Scratch and things like that, you're probably not going to get a lot out of this as a coding educational toy. Um, so um, that's just one thing to kind of keep in mind. I, th I think Osmo kind of recognizes that as well, that despite the name, that it has coding in the name, uh, there are some things that I had seen online where, um, you know, for the other two in there, the uh, the coding obby and the coding duo, 
uh, had mentioned that it was for computational thinking, for like, you know, coding that you would get out of coding. Yeah. Whereas the yeah. coding jam, it didn't say that. It just said it was like music yeah, and yeah, yeah. that type of thing. Yeah. So, yeah, so I think the other two in the package are definitely more geared towards actually learning how to code, uh, where this is really more geared towards kind of an, an introduction uh, to uh, these types of visual uh, code-based, uh, block-based rather, uh, languages. Um, I think it's very good there. In fact, because of that, um, I would say actually even starting, you know, four uh, would probably be fine. Um, and in fact, you know, kind of uh, even younger than that, um, you know, like a three age range may be fine um, because Connor had gotten into some of the snap circuits when he was three. Um, and we found that uh, even at that age, you know, there was some additional learning that was really great for him where uh, it helped him learn colors and shapes and things like that. And so I think that, that because these are also uh, have these similar kind of different colors and, and things like that, that, um, you know, even a three year old with, with obviously parental assistance uh, could get a lot out of it. Thanks, Thanks for, for playing, playing with us. us. Bye. Bye. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell.